how to update the interface. Connect the interface to your Windows, Mac, or Google computer. All platforms are supported. Open a Google Chrome browser and type in config.navtool.com. Once you're in, you will have the guided tour. The rest of the screen will be grayed out and the white box will help you through the process. If you close it by mistake, you can restart it here. On the top right, you can call tech support. On the bottom left, you can chat with tech support. Once you connect the interface, click the blue button that says click here to connect device to the computer. A window will open and you can click car interface and then click the connect button. After you click the connect button, click the interface connected button. Then select your vehicle make. In this example, we will use Dodge. Click next. Select model. We will select Durango. Click next. Select year. The year is going to be 2016. And then click next. Automatic transmission is already selected for you. Click next. Now click the search button. Here you want to click my selections correct. Now you have to select firmware. As you can see, Dodge Durango is here. Clicking with the mouse, you highlight the entire lawn. Then click I choose correct software, next. Now click the install button. Wait for the installation to be complete. This should take between 30 to 60 seconds. Once it is complete, we will move on to the next configuring process. Now that the update is complete, you are done with the process. You have additional options that you can configure here, but these options are mirrored in the interface. You can set the same options inside the nav tool interface. All the same options are available in the interface menus. Here are the video input settings, the same settings you can also find on the nav tool interface. Video input settings, click OK. Select if your vehicle has a typical installation of a factory rear view camera or you're adding aftermarket camera, select one option. You can also change this in the nav tool interface. Aftermarket front camera or disabled if you're not installing any cameras. You can also select if you want to use it as a video input. Again, select the camera you are installing. If your vehicle has 360 degrees factory camera, it should still be set the same way. Then, you have device settings. Again, these settings are able to be changed in the nav tool interface. This is if you want to bypass the menus and have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto be automatic. This is if you want to have chirp feedback from the interface on or off. And then, manual activation. Refer to the manual. Click Save. You can disconnect the interface. So, video settings and device settings. You don't have to configure now. The same settings are available within the interface. So the only thing you need to do is install the software. 